We have now done our patina and we have done our polishing on these two pieces. So we are now ready to do our cutting work. So these two pieces are just a normal square frame. So we can cut them with a normal scissor. I like doing my cutting work with a tiny detail scissor like this one. It gives me more control over my tidiness so it's just a matter of cutting all around the frame I cut a millimeter away from the edge so that I don't cut into the wax and that gives me a nice straight edge so you can now continue to cut all around both of these two pieces. After we've done our cutting work, we can then seal our pewter with a clear lacquer. So these two are now ready for sealing with some clear lacquer but before I do that I want to still cut out my high relief design. So the high relief design we're going to cut out using a dry point needle because I've got these rounded edges and these sharp points here that is difficult to cut nicely with a scissor. So I prefer doing this design cut out work with a dry point needle. So using the dry point needle is a bit of a practice. So what you need to do is you're going to press down, draw all along the edge that you want to cut, repeat, draw, repeat until you are through your pewter and on your hard surface. So I'm going to press down <coughs> and draw a line all along my edge and I'm going to go straight through. I'm doing another line and I'm not through the pewter yet. I'm going to repeat one more time and there I'm now basically through. I can still see that I need a little bit more pressure here so I'm going to do it one more time and another round and there I've done the cutting line. Now I'm going to do the other side as well. Oh yes, let's do this side. Cut through one more time. Another time and then a fourth time if needed and a fifth one until you feel that you are completely through the pewter and tracing onto your tile. Now I'm going to do this little bit here and then I'm going to remove that piece. So you need to keep your pewter steady so that it does not slip. Keep cutting until you completely loose. And then I remove that piece so I don't have one long piece following me around. So now I can start again with this edge and then cut it along the long edge.
and then remove the piece. I continue this all along the edge of my design. we go so once you're done cutting all around I pick up my pewter and then I take the edge of my dry point needle and I just trace it along the cut edge so this just trims away that fine little ridge that it leaves after doing the cutting it just tidies up the edges a little bit this is a soft motion And if you have any sharp points, you can use the scissor, a tiny scissor, just to cut away the sharp edges. There we go. So I've got a little bit of an edge here that didn't cut correctly. So I'm going to use the scissor just to trim that away so that it is even. And there I have a perfect edge. So I've now done my cutting work and I've got a lot of finger marks on here. So I need to take a piece of cotton wool and I just need to carefully clean my pewter again so that it's nice and shiny before I can cover it with my clear layer, with my protective layer. You just need to be careful now because you've got sharp corners that can bend. So soft motions, just one more round of cleaning or polishing until you have no more finger marks left on your pewter. So I'm going to cover this with a matte finish clear lacquer but you can also use a glossy finish I do like my matte finish a lot more than my glossy finish there I am done so I am now ready to do my sealer I do use just a normal spray paint this is a fast drying one I just need to give it a bit of a shake and then I can seal my pewter. So holding your pewter like this you do one quick layer not too thick that it does run and form lines so you just want to do one quick layer and then let it dry. So I've done this layer now, I, it still has a shiny finish because the spray is still wet so I can leave that to dry and then I can move on to my other pieces as well. 